hey there guys and welcome to a quick channel update video and I also got some pickups to show you. There's some exciting news, some exciting weeks coming along, some stressful weeks as well. We're going to do so much stuff. Let's get to it. First up, channel update. I know I've been lacking on the toy history videos, but I've been working on them. I've been working on them. There's a ton of stuff happening in October, and then from November on, I'm gonna be doing toy history videos for you guys. So it's coming back. It's coming back in full force, and uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to wait. Because, well, next week, we're doing Eddie Goes Mexico. Yeah, indeed. Um, in the last video you probably saw was Raul's collection. He actually invited us. We need to go to Mexico City, bro. Yeah. We have yeah. to go. Yeah, next time. We, Toy shopping. We can try it out. If, if, if you'll, you'll come along, we can of totally course. do it, man. You said you traductor, I will be your translator, man. Yeah, I mean, if you get an invite like that, you obviously have to go and grab it. Wasn't expecting to add in another toy hunting trip, but Eddie Goes Mexico seems to be happening. So, yeah, next week we will be in Mexico. Raul, he planned a whole weekend filled with just crazy stuff. I hope we're going to be able to shoot tons of content. And by we, I mean me and Narc. Narc is coming along. Raul is going to be there. Hopefully, we can meet up with Ariel for unpunched which would be awesome and if you guys are in the area if you're toy collectors you can also come and check out a convention that's happening on uh, Saturday and Sunday we will be there on Sunday and it's called Estacion Juguetara I'm gonna have to that'll probably be wrong but so the picture over here we're gonna be there at the the toy convention probably yeah uh, we're gonna do tons of toy hunt thing there and uh, it, it, I, I can't wait it's gonna be a pretty freaking cool experience I hope um, yeah this weekend I'm gonna be touring around with uh, my band Rotsack we're gonna be touring around in Germany not sure if I'm gonna have time to do some toy hunting but if I do you'll probably see a video popping up so keep an eye out on Instagram maybe some stuff will happen on there or not and you can obviously keep checking out my socials to keep up with what we're doing in Mexico and all that and the weekend after the 22nd and the 23rd we're actually gonna be at Retro Palooza with all the Attic Invaders, Greco Fabulous, he's gonna be there, Narc, me, and just a ton of other cool people. Pixel Dan's gonna be there, Retro Rick, so all those cool YouTubers are, are gonna be present over there. We got our own table, so you can come by and say hi for not you know, hunting for toys there, because, I mean, uh, I want to hunt for toys. So we're going to be at Retro Palooza in Arlington, Texas. It's going to be amazing. I love going there last time, and uh, hopefully you saw those videos. But we're also doing a movie screening attached to Retro Palooza. So if you have a ticket, you can come over on Friday to the Sheraton Hotel, and there's going to be a double feature so at 6 p.m., Retro Freaks, the movie, is going to be shown over there in combination with the Game Chasers movie, which is insane. So Retro Freaks is a horror movie in which Narc, Boston Mike, Cincy Nerd, they all star in that movie. And uh, we got a couple parts in there as well. So we got a, a few scenes, me and Greco, and a ton of other YouTubers are going to be in this movie. I'm super excited to see what the end result is because we only got to do like our little parts in the movie and we don't really know how it connects into the bigger story. So it's going to be super exciting to find out what the movie actually looks like. Um, so the trailer is going to drop tomorrow. So on Friday, Friday, definitely go and check out Narc's channel. You will have the trailer up and you'll be able to see what this movie is all about. On Wednesday, however, so in that same week, on Wednesday the 19th at 7 p.m., we're actually premiering the movie at the Texas Theater. So, yeah, if, if you want to come over and check it out there. Um, obviously, we'll do some more stuff during that week. Hopefully, meet up and collab with some other YouTubers. But I'm super excited for all of this that's happening. So, yeah, I mean, Attic Invaders are going to be back. I got one more episode, which I'm going to be releasing next week for you guys. And uh, from then on, yeah, like, like we said, it'll be... Eddie Goes Mexico, Eddie Does Texas, and more toy history videos. So, on to the next thing. When we're back in Belgium, uh, there's obviously going to be some more conventions around Belgium. So, we got Comic-Con Brussels coming up. I know Kevin Eastman is going to be guesting over there, so 
I'm definitely gonna try Try, try grabbing his attention in one way or another. Uh, then we have Vintage Toys of the Universe that's coming up. And in Amsterdam, they're also doing the next Toy Zone in Amsterdam. So lots of vintage toy conventions you guys can obviously come along to. And hopefully we will bring the camera and shoot a video together with Maddie. Yeah. Where, where's Maddie? Maddie? And now let's get into some of the pickups I got over here. So first up, this thing uh, popped up on the marked plots which is like one of those online bidding things for Holland and I saw this freaking mad ball I saw the goal eater in the box and I was like this is crazy this is insane it's in the box uh, I couldn't believe my eyes so I started bidding on it eventually won and actually got it for a pretty good deal I mean got it for less than the ball goes for so that's pretty amazing over here you can see it i'm not sure if he's yellowed or anything or if he's supposed to be this orange but hey man i'm not complaining because we got the box guys this is insane um as you know this is a toy by amtoy or american greetings and yeah you can't like hit your head with the ball apparently uh ages four and up and I, I guess like over here in uh belgium or in europe matchbox was the distributor for the brand and toy so that's like a, a cool little gimmick usually you never see this with a box so i was like super excited when i found it and uh I, I got that added to the collection. So now I'm just looking for this one to add to the collection. I already got the Terror Touchdown and the Goal Eater. So this one is next on the hit list. Maybe we'll find it in America. Maybe we won't. Next pickup that came into the mail is the Toys That Time Forgot Volume 3. Blake Wright, he did. Uh, he, he, he poured his heart and soul into another awesome book about unproduced toys. So if you haven't heard about this series yet, what it basically covers is all sorts of stuff uh, where toys were proposed to be released and uh, eventually they didn't. Um, I haven't really gone through this one yet, but I saw some crazy stuff. Over here you have like some of the evolutions that Ursac went through for the Skeleton Warriors and just stuff like that. Like cool behind the scenes, some of that Tiger Shark stuff. But yeah check out it check it out for yourself um i think he still has some copies available and uh yeah if you're into unproduced toys which maybe you are if you watch this channel definitely go and check it out blake he's an awesome guy we got to meet him in chicago did a little toy hunting together and he's also doing the toy collector magazine which you should definitely check out so yeah can't wait to get the reprint of the first volume because that's the last one i'm missing and closing it off is just a little bit of a sampling of some stuff that i actually got from roll when we left his crazy awesome collection he came over and was like Dude, you seriously have to come over to Mexico. Here are some bootlegs to prove you need to come over. So, what do we have here? Okay, we have some He-Man um, knockoff stuff or, or bootleg stuff. Yeah, definitely like a He-Man over here. But then it starts getting interesting. <laughs> and we have a whole crew of Thundercats in the 5.5 versions. And this definitely looks like what Maddie picked up, like that, that, those bed sheets, these look so <laughs> freaking crazy. Uh, check it out, man. This is, this is insane. Uh, he threw in another couple ones. I guess this is like some sort of a luchadori. I hope I'm saying that right. And um, a ninja. Awesome. And then, like, one of the coolest things, obviously, is this battle cat uh, knockoff. <laughs> this, this is, well, obviously just like a PVC lion. They painted it green. Then they started sculpting something that could resemble the battle armor for Battle Cat. So, yeah, just look at this. I love it. Love it. So hopefully in this month we'll find some cool stuff. We'll find some cool things. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments what you want to see in this video so I can kind of like incorporate it in the video. And uh, I want to thank you guys as always just for watching, for supporting me. And uh, yeah, if you want to do more, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you want even more, you can check out my socials or uh, connect with us on the Patreon. So that's going to be it for this little update video, and uh, I will see you soon, guys. Bye.